Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now in today's episode we're going to be taking a look at another Windows Update Revival project. So if you remember a while back we took a look at Legacy Update which has a goal of making Windows Update usable again on computers running Windows 2000 and now all the way through Windows 8.1 as the developer made some updates to it since I made that video. I'm sure we all know that all of those operating systems are no longer officially supported by Microsoft so this is an extremely useful utility for anybody who messes around with old computers. And pretty much every comment I read on that video agreed with me, but there was one thing that kept coming up every so often, and that is, what about Windows 9X? Is there anything like this for Windows 95, 98, and Windows Me? Well, that's what today's video is about, because today we're going to be exploring a project called Windows Update Restored, which, as you can probably tell from the name, is another Windows Update Revival project, but this time around, it supports versions of Windows between 95 and Windows XP. So I've got the good old Windows 98 PC out today running its usual install of Windows 98 SC, and we're going to get some updates for it. But before we do that, one thing to note is that this project is still a work in progress and everything is not finished yet. I've been talking with one of the developers and from what he's told me, this sounds like it has been a massive undertaking because Microsoft no longer hosts the update packages for Windows 9X based systems. With Windows XP, you can actually still download updates to this day from the Microsoft Update Catalog, and that was something that I mentioned in the Legacy Update video. And on top of that, Windows XP's Windows Update site is also still online, so you could use it to get updates just like you used to, though it requires some system modifications to get working out of the box, and that's where, again, Legacy Update comes in because this makes that entire process process so much easier. None of that is the case with Windows 9X. These updates are no longer hosted online by Microsoft, so the developers of this project have had to scour the Internet Archive to find these old update packages, download them, and then host them on a separate server. And they actually don't have all of them yet, they're still looking for some packages, so if you happen to have an old 9X computer that connected to Windows Update back in the day, it might have some files on it that they're looking for. So I'll leave their Discord server down below if you want to get more info about that. But with all that aside, let's talk a bit more about the site itself. So it can be accessed by going to windowsupdaterestored.com, and much like Legacy Update, they've designed the homepage here to mimic what Windows Update used to look like, in this case, Windows Update v4. Now, one of the really cool things about this project is it aims to revive all of the discontinued versions of Windows Update, because there were a few iterations of it. And if we go to this compatibility page, you can see some more info about that. So they've got this chart here of each Windows version and what uh, version of Windows Update that they support. Now, as of right now, as of me filming this video, version 3.1 is the only one that they have functioning at the moment. So V4 and V5, when you click on these uh, links here in the sidebar, it'll just say this version of Windows Update is not complete or online yet. Version 6 will just redirect you to the official Windows Update site, which is not going to be able to be accessed from here, let's get caught in a loop. So yeah, V6, remember before when I was saying that Windows XP's Windows Update is still online, this was the version that I was talking about. And this is probably the version that you remember most if you used Windows XP back in the mid to late 2000s. And Microsoft Update is pretty much Windows Update with the addition of being able to get updates for Microsoft products other than Windows, so like Microsoft Office and things like that. Uh, so yeah, version 3.1 is the only version functioning as of this video, which means means that you can access this from Windows 95 all the way up to Windows 2000. Though there are some caveats, as you can see with these yellow boxes here, so Windows 2000, for example, only works on version 3.1 up to Service Pack 2. And then if you're running a newer Service Pack, you would have to use version 4, which again, they, they don't have support for as of yet. And nothing Windows XP and above will work with version 3.1. So all we have to do, we'll go back to the home page here. There's also an IE Downloads page which is useful for updating your version of Internet Explorer. Right now we're using version 5.00, but you know, if I wanted to get 5.01 or 5.5, they've got downloads for that right here, uh, which is super, super useful. But we are able to access version 3.1 from IE5 on 98SE, so I'm going to click on that link right here, and it will take us to a very old school looking Windows Update page. So this is what Windows Update version 3.1 or V3 
3.1 looked like back in the day. And we'll click on product updates to start downloading some updates. So the first thing it will do is come up with a security warning as you have to install and run Windows Update Control, which as you can see is the original file. Like this was signed on June 21st, 2002 by Microsoft. And then we also have to run a cab file here, which as you can see is there's no signature found. So we're just gonna say yes. And because you have to do that for this to work. So now I'll say, please wait. It's customizing the product update catalog. And now you get a list of software. So you can see uh, there's a lot of things here, uh, much like with legacy update. You know, you, ha you have a bunch of updates to install. Uh, so we've got a critical update package. We've got a security update uh, from November 2nd, 1999 that I evidently don't have. Um, and though, okay, so it looks like you can only download this separately from other components. Um, so that's going to probably uncheck uh, this here, critical update package. So we're just going to get this to start out. So we'll uncheck that and then we'll check this. And I don't think we can get any of this stuff. Oh, okay. Yes, we can. So you can either pick uh, one of these two critical updates and then you've got like MSN Messenger 3.0 or Internet Explorer 5.5. Um, which also needs to be downloaded separately from other components. Okay, so let's just um, uncheck this. Let's just get uh, this critical update package. So we'll hit download and we'll start download. And so you get a license agreement here. And I guess these are the uh, list of updates it's going to install. So it's a bunch of uh, security updates, one critical update. We'll say yes. And it begins downloading just like that. It's that simple. And we're done. So we got to restart Windows. So we'll do just that. And we're back. So I'm going to open up IE once again here. And we'll go back to Windows Update Restored or not. <laughs> not Windows Up. No, I got to close out of it. It's going to get caught in a loop. <laughs> uh, we got to go to WindowsUpdateRestored.com. And we'll hop back into version 3.1. And every time that you go in here and click on product updates, it'll come up with that same message or actually not the first one, but it will with this ident.cab. So you have to say yes uh, every time to actually view the list of updates. And so now you can see that we don't have that critical security update package that we already installed. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's select MSN Messenger. Can we get these two at the same time? No, we cannot. Okay. So let's just come back to this later and try to get everything that we can get at the same time. So we can't get that. Uh, we can get Media Player 7. Can we get the critical update notification? Yes, we can. Microsoft Virtual Machine, sure. And you've probably noticed all this is split up into different categories. So like at the top here, you've got critical updates and then picks of the month. You've got recommended updates and you've got kind of optional updates down here, though it's just called additional Windows features at this point, but you've got a, a bunch of those. And what's really cool is like, I don't have Microsoft Plus 98 installed on here, but Microsoft made a couple of the themes available in plus 98 available on windows update so you see fun and games here we've got world traveler desktop theme fashion desktop theme and the science fiction desktop theme so i'm going to grab all of those and we'll hit download so what do we got we got msn messenger media player 7 critical update notification microsoft virtual machine and the themes so we'll start download and we will again we get that list here we'll hit yes and it will begin downloading and we're done again so let's restart Oh, actually, I think they did mention, you could probably see for a split second there that it said it wasn't able to download those themes because the files weren't found. So yeah, those themes, they don't actually have the update packages for, uh, so it just didn't install them. But everything else seemed to install, so we'll see if we got MSN Messenger. Oh yeah, and there's the Microsoft VM that we got, so yeah, updating system settings. But I think it is nice that, uh, you know, even if they don't have the update package, like for those themes, the update still shows up in the list that it's like available, you know, to where if they do actually source those files, you'll be able to get them. Cause if we scroll down here, it should still, yeah. So they're, they're still here. Um, but yeah, so I'm guessing that, and this was one thing that the, the developer mentioned. It's like, yeah, we don't have everything yet. We're still in the process of, of uh, getting all of the updates, but they do have a lot of them from what I understand. And they've moved all of them over to a, separate server that they're hosting themselves. So I'm really excited to see where this project goes. It's going to be awesome when it gets updated with these other Windows Update versions to where um, you could use, you know, Windows XP and Windows Server 2003. But I mean, right now you've got Legacy Update for those. I mean, Legacy Update works great and that combined with Windows Update Restored, yeah, it's definitely an exciting time for uh, people that are in just vintage Windows versions or old. Saying vintage Windows version sounds weird. I don't know. 
but I mean, they are, you know, these are old Windows versions that you can't update through Microsoft anymore. Uh, so it's, it's super awesome that uh, there's just a, a community around this stuff that, that wants to revive these services and bring them online for, for people to enjoy in the modern day. So yeah, there you have it, guys. That is a, uh, a little look at Windows Update Restored. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, get subscribed, all that good stuff. And if you really like this video and want to get early access to my future episodes, I do have a Patreon down below that you can check out as well. But either way, I just want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.